So Survivalist is an adventure TV series that puts two families to the test with the challenge of embarking on multiple days through the wilderness with no tech and the families have to rely on each other to survive and to reach the finish line first for a prize of $10,000. And one local family from Renton actually had the chance to compete on the show and now we get to hear all about it. So today we are joined by the, Ch the Tran family Mari, Vung, Christian, Ashton, and Ava. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks Hi. for coming Hi. in. So tell us kind of, first of all, how did you hear about this opportunity and how did you get involved? Um, well, actually, I was um, contacted by a casting agent from Shark Tank. And um, they were looking for families that kind of told us a little bit about the show. We don't watch a lot of TV, so she sent me a link. We um, uh, checked it out mm -hmm. and um, she kind of encouraged us to try out for it. And we didn't think we were gonna get picked. So, um, you know, we auditioned, we sent in videotape, and met with multiple producers, and then the rest is history. Wait, were you on Shark Tank, or how no, did she no. find you? I, it no, just I kind she, of worked that she, way. Yeah, it kind of worked that way. Yeah. I think maybe she worked with the producers oh, or something. Wonderful, so what did it feel like when you got that call, that you got it? Um, oh my gosh. Well, as she told us, if we didn't hear back in a month, we would, we should safely assume that we didn't make it. Six to seven weeks passed, and we got an email saying, hey, you guys are <laughs> finalists. <laughs> and we were just kind of like, what? We, we didn't think it was real, you know? But right. yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously it was. Yes. <laughs> so you spent four days trekking through the wilderness of Mexico. What was that experience like? Uh, like what words yeah. would you use to describe it? <laughs> uh, uh, um, it was different, yeah. yeah. It was grueling. Very different grueling. environment. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of sand, a lot of desert, like very different from Seattle where it's raining here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Now I want to hear from each one of you, what was the most challenging thing for you as individuals? I'm sure it was different stuff. Um, well, for me, I, the sand was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. They did pre-warn us that it was probably one of the most difficult terrains they had for the families. So once we <laughs> went on the sand, I mean, it was no joke. Like just you don't know whether you're gonna sink or you know whether the sand's compact it's kind of like snow but worse oh my mm -hmm. god because it gets in your shoes and everywhere just it was in my eyes and it was just hard to see walking so. in sand is hard yeah, yeah, yeah. let yeah. alone for four days yeah yeah, yeah. what so. about you dad uh for me it was the the board and the water because i can't swim and, oh. uh, yeah no oh. we're like off there and i was like oh man i was so scared that i lost lucky uh you know our kids helped us out here and there too so wonderful what about you guys uh for me it was like being placed out of the real world like no phone no communications outside no real food it's just like a di very different environment it's like a side quest in life yeah wonderful you well for me it was yeah the technology without it it was kind of hard yeah. yeah and then also a couple of the days me and my brother had to carry my mom and ava's bag to the finish line pretty much and it was like 40 pounds each bag so it was hard to walk in the dunes with those heavy yeah. bags. Yeah, but you guys helped your family. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Ava, what was hard for you? Um, it was all um, just challenging. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I want to know kind of how the experience helped bring your family closer together. Well, I think just putting us in the middle of nowhere with no tech, it was just, it kind of forced us to kind of face our issues head on and um, we, you know, we didn't think about it at the moment, I guess, but just, it, we had a lot of bottled up feelings inside. Mm -hmm. So just kind of like, um, we didn't realize what the other person was going through and the hardships that they, you know, um, were facing and um, just not communicating is just really detrimental to a relationship, right? So, so that really taught us to really face our, our um, fears and all that. Do you think that you will take that sort of lesson of the importance of communication now back to life in Renton? I think so. I mean, it's gotten a little bit better, but we sure have a lot to work on. Yeah. And what was your favorite memories that you made there? Anything good? Um, you know, I just the fact that we just kind of like hung out because we it's hard to get all five of us together. Yeah, we're always mm -hmm. so busy. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. he's off at college um, and, you know, he's going to go to college soon. And it's kind of like, um, you know, we, we're really into family, just being together and just knowing that they're, you know, going out on their own. And, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What would you say is like the biggest thing that you learned from the whole experience? Um, you know, never give up. We can always go through hard things, you know. And yeah. And work together. Yeah. Face adversity. Yeah. 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 
who was like the VIP? Who was the who was the strongest, the most helpful? Who came through <laughs> when you didn't expect it? Oh my gosh! I think uh, it's Christian yeah, and, I think and I was Ava. To say myself. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Christian, we love it. Confident yeah. king. And what, tell us a story about that. Um, yeah. So this is like the first time I've like gotten this mad and like angry, but I wanted that money, you know, and like especially <laughs> with like our family too. I was like, Yo, hurry up, you know, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. You know, we can't back down. Like, I don't know. I guess uh, I'm a competitive person. I wanted our family to win and uh, didn't want to look bad. So Yeah, sure. And how much yeah. money was up for grabs? $10,000. Yeah. $10,000. $10, now, you make a really excellent point. I'm also a very competitive person, <laughs> but this kind of stuff sort of, it seems like it would also force you into accepting what you can't change. Like when things start falling apart, you can want it as bad as you want it, but sometimes all that's left is for you to accept it. Did you feel like that at some points? Yeah, that's where we have to like, or I had to like figure out how to adapt, how to like change, like what we can do, you know? Like if you, we can't move forward, like what's another thing we can do? Like always try to change, always try to do something, you know? It's never too late, mm -hmm. never give up. That's a good lesson. How many times a day did you reach for your phone and it wasn't, and you weren't able to have <laughs> I it? I do that too, that yeah. Would, probably like hundreds, right? Yeah, probably yeah. too much to count, yeah. So. <laughs> and after, you know, coming back from the whole experience, what was like your favorite thing? Was it taking a hot shower? Was it sleeping in your oh, own bed? Man. What oh. were those comforts that you just missed so much? It was eating. It was uh, eating, yeah. yeah. Taking yeah. a shower Pretty too. Good. Yeah, we had steak. What, seven days without a shower? Oh, man, was Ooh. Yeah. yeah. What did you eat out there? Oh gosh, uh, Cliff Bars. Cliff Bars. I couldn't yeah. see another Cliff Bar oh, you know, ever again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the MREs. So mm -hmm. we had MREs. Um, Christian and I, they didn't show this on camera, but we did a challenge. So we ate really like weird stuff like rattlesnake and oh, these ooh. eels that look like worms. And yeah. it was just really weird. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it was fine. I was hungry, so <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> well, we applaud the lessons that you learned and your bravery, and you guys should definitely check this out. You can catch the Tran family on season three of Survivalists. It's streaming on BYU TV. And we do have a link uh, for more information on our website, fox13seattle.com. Studio 13 Live. Thank Thanks you. again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These were awesome.